seems like Google has sabotaged the desert naming scheme of Android and they're no longer going to confuse the users with their desert names. Some people can't even pronounce it properly and in some areas they even don't know what is ice cream sandwich, nougat and marshmallow. Finally, they decided to stick with version numbers like iOS. This is called Android Q. Oops. This is Android 10 running on Redmi K20 Pro with MIUI 11 features. In this video, I will talk everything about Android 10 running on Redmi K20 Pro. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so let me quickly show you the version which I am running by jumping into the settings about phone and as you can see I am running the EU ROM which is based on Android 10. This ROM still uses a MIUI 10 skin on top of the 10th iteration of Android but it does offer the MIUI 11 features which are confirmed to be coming soon. Anyway, let's dive into the new features of Android 10. The Android 10 on your Redmi K20 Pro uh, comes with a built-in always-on display mode, uh, meaning whenever you locked on your phone, you will get to see all of the notifications, battery percentage, time, and more. This way, you don't need to unlock your phone every time to check your notifications or time. Uh, the always-on display also offers a lot of themes which you can customize according to your fancy. This is an awesome part of Android 10 and definitely it is a much-awaited feature. Next up, with MIUI 11 and Red 10, you will get a brand new dynamic wallpapers will be added to your device. These live wallpapers may dynamically change the look and feel of the wallpaper based on geolocation. Currently, there is only one wallpaper uh, which has been added in this beta, so it is called the Desert Wallpaper. It looks super cool on your device. Uh, this leads to the speculation that Xiaomi is actually testing a few dynamic wallpapers as of now and maybe we can expect to see a more dynamic wallpapers will be packed into the final release of MIUI 11. The Android Q on your Redmi K20 Pro may also improve the speed of the fingerprint sensor. Uh, we all know the K20 Pro is having an in-display fingerprint sensor, which we think is not as fast as a normal fingerprint sensor. But keep in mind, this is a 7th generation fingerprint sensor, which Xiaomi claims has improved a lot in Android 10. So this way, you can unlock your phone using a fingerprint sensor much faster than ever before. Also, Xiaomi has added a new feature to the fingerprint sensor in Android 10, which is called a fingerprint shortcut. To access these shortcuts, all you need to do is press and hold on the top of the fingerprint sensor until it unlocks and then use a gesture by swiping left or right just like that uh, to bring up some cool shortcuts which can be used right away. For example, I can use the camera to detect the plant type and its species. This is actually pretty cool. As of now, uh, these shortcuts are limited and cannot be customized according to your fancy. Next up, a dark mode will be available to all MIUI 11 users with Android 10. This is going to be a system-wide dark mode which works with compatible third-party applications. You can enable the dark mode uh, from the quick toggle section or you can head over to display dark mode uh, then you can enable the dark theme on your device just like that and as of now you can select this force global dark mode option which is going to force all of the applications to use a dark theme as you can see the google play store looks fantastic in dark theme and toggling on the a force dark mode option may not be a good practice to do as of now it won't work as intended with third-party applications. In Android 10, screen time is going to be much precise and concise, which gives you more information and statistics about the usage of a device. The screen time is also known as a focus mode, which Google likes to call in Android 10, allows to set a screen time limit uh, for any individual application. So if you are distracted by any application, well, don't worry, set a time limit for that application and that's it. Now you're good to go. This feature is truly helpful, which temporarily disables applications on reaching time limit and won't bother at all with any notifications. The Android 10 also brings a new feature called a quick reply, which helps to reply to your received message from any application. As of now, this feature will work with a few of the system applications and some of the features of Android 10 may include the improved game turbo mode, automated tasks, long screenshots and more. 
When it comes to performance, I would say it's same as a stable ROM and hopefully the final version of Android 10 may improve the performance a lot. Also the battery life in Android 10 may be improved to get the most out of your Redmi K20 Pro. And that's it guys, this is a quick look of Android 10 running on Redmi K20 Pro with a MIUI 11 features. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. This is your boy KSK Royal. Peace out.